Alright, uh, I'm walking down Main Street in Moab on uh, the Tuesday of Easter Jeep Safari uh, 2019, the 53rd Easter Jeep Safari, and uh, there's a lot of cool cars out here, so let's walk around a little bit, like that Land Cruiser right there. Uh, let's walk around and uh, see what cool stuff we can see in about five or ten minutes. Alright, here's an old Willys flat fender. Uh, there's another cool one right there, but anyway, yeah, this old Willys flat fender, super primitive, very old school. It says Willys nomenclature, truck quarter ton 4x4. There's your transmission pattern. So, first is down here, second is here, third is back. So it's a three-speed manual. And there's your transfer case pattern too. Man, that is cool. Oh, I love that tracker right there. But yeah, pretty sweet flat fender right here. Let's uh, see what else have we've got. Here's the Jeep stand with all the concepts. Got to check those out yesterday. I see a cool 60 series Land Cruiser over here. A lot of Jeeps down here this week, but they're not all Jeeps. I've seen some cool Land Cruisers. Surprising amount of Geo Trackers. Those are always fun to see lifted up. But anyway, yeah, here is a 60 series Land Cruiser. Let's see if it's a 60 or a 62. The first place to look is the headlights. Okay, it's a 60. So that means it's got a four-speed manual. It was sold from, I think, like 1980, 1980, 81 until uh, 87, I believe. Oh, right-hand drive, okay. So this is obviously a Japanese or Australian market import. All right, here's a sick K5 Blazer. Lifted on, let's see, no, just 35s, okay. North Dakota plates too, that's a beautiful plate. Silverado badge there. Let's see, looks like an automatic, column shifted. Oh nice, I saw this thing yesterday. It's a postal Jeep, uh, or at least the body of a postal Jeep. Everything else looks custom. That is heavy duty. Wow. But man, this thing's cool. It doesn't have a windshield. Right hand drive, because postal Jeep. Does that mean it uses an LS motor? Yeah, yeah, it looks about right. The back is my favorite. I saw this yesterday. I took a couple pictures of it. Love the stamped tailgate. Love the color scheme. You've got male rated. Yeah, this thing's cool. This is probably one of my favorites uh, from this year. And this is my favorite angle of it. I like it because it still looks like a mail truck, just on massive tires and with huge axles. From Texas. I saw a sick Wagoneer over here. Let's go take a look at that. Ah, uh, so I stand corrected. It's a Cherokee Chief, not a Wagoneer. Ah, uh, I love the KCs. Yes. Super rad. I love that look with the lights across the top. There's your Cherokee Chief stickers on the side. Wow, the Cherokee Chief medallion. That is beautiful. A little bit of rust. Adds character. Huge BFG mud terrains. Let's see what size are these. 30... 39s? That's an obscure size. Oh yeah, she's uh, she's got some dings. We got the old AMC era Jeep logo. Michigan dealer plates. Quadra track badge. Wow, there's even more lights in the back. Are those lights? No, those are speakers. Got it. Speakers. With a rooftop tent on a nice cool platform rack there. Oh yeah, this thing's sweet. There's the Jeep flat bill concept sitting on 40 inch mud terrains. There's the Scrambler, the five quarters just to its left there. I see the J6 back there. All right, so that was just one parking lot. Uh, granted, it's a parking lot where a lot of cool Jeeps hang out. There were a lot of cool Jeeps there last year, but uh, now I'm gonna walk down Main Street 
and uh, see what cool stuff we see driving down Main Street. Samurai, I always love a good samurai. Here's an old Willie's. Yeah? This is a little different, so I don't think it's the same. Yeah, I can never I can never remember the model name. No, it's got the split tailgate. Yeah, I love the tailgates. Yeah. And our panel wagon, that wasn't a panel wagon. Yeah. Now yours is that box style. It's all license plates on the inside. That's cool. That's very cool. Wow, plaid headliner and license plate footwells. Ooh, Wyoming. Sweet Comanche right there. Oh yeah, look at this thing. I think now that the Gladiator's out, the Comanche is even cooler. Wow. Ooh, Bronco. Big old Suburban with a big old dog. Ooh, an excursion with the Power Stroke. Hey, there's an elusive two-door Wrangler Rubicon followed by a Gladiator. Hey, there's a Winnebago Revel. Those are pretty cool. They're also like 160k. Wow. All right, first of all, here's an original Grand Cherokee V8 too. Let's take a look at this thing. South Dakota plates. Holy crap! This is a monster truck. So looks like it is based on a. JK Wrangler with a bed. Too bad the Gladiator wasn't out back then. Probably would have saved this guy 50 grand on the conversion. Holy crap. Mickey Thompson Baja Claw TTC. Let's see what size these are. I'm going to go with 54 inch. It's got a Cummins turbo diesel. And King's, King's suspension setup. Of course it's got a winch. This thing is insane. Wow. Wow. And like I said, all the cool cars aren't necessarily Jeeps. There's what, uh, I think it's probably a Toyota pickup. Right there, turned into a rock crawler. Wow, check out that CJ right there. And at the red light here, I'm waiting for it to turn green because there are a bunch of similarly built Jeeps. Oh, they're side-by-sides, led by a YJ. Uh, a couple of dirty side-by-sides there. Wow. Uh, there's an XJ Cherokee that has been turned into a small pickup truck. TJ, JK, a JK up there. I'm having to get really good at quickly recalling Wrangler model codes. Wow, look at this thing coming up. Jeez, that is evil. <laughs> hey, even this uh, Ford Econo line right here is pretty cool. Four wheel drive, it's got like a Rhino line and Exterior. I wanted to look at this Land Rover Discovery over here. It's all stickered up. 
Alabama plates. Interesting. Lots of stickers. Cool roof rack. They've got an axe up there. They've got some cool lights. These things are to uh, push branches and brush out of the way uh, when you're driving through heavily wooded areas in order to keep them from coming in contact with the windshield. ARB bull bar. Oh yeah. That'll light up a dark sky. There are two notable uh, non-Jeep tour companies uh, in Moab. One of them's Navtech that has a fleet of 80 series Land Cruisers. And then there is the Moab Adventure Center, which has a fleet of Hummer H1s. One just passed, and then there's another one waiting to turn right here. Oh yeah. This looks like your everyday uh, JL Wrangler, but as you get to the back, you'll notice that it looks like it probably started life as a JL Wrangler Unlimited, and then uh, had its rear doors removed to turn it into, I guess, a, I don't know what you would call this, a long wheelbase uh, two-door JL? <laughs> JL Coupe? I don't know, it kind of reminds me of the TJ Unlimited that they sold for a few years uh, with a longer wheelbase that was still a two-door uh, before just fully committing and introducing the four-door JK Unlimited in, I believe, 2007. Anyway, all right, like I said, not all, not all the cool cars are Jeeps. Here is a yard full of Volkswagen Vanagons, three Vanagons, the Coyote Shuttle, a Type 2, and what drew me in this uh, first gen Montero back here. First gen, second gen, first gen. First gen, first gen Montero. All right, here's the four speed concept from last year from the 2018 Easter Jeep Safari. The idea behind this one was that it had been uh, light weighted, <laughs> as it says right here. Yes, yeah, so it was obviously based on a two door uh, JL Wrangler Rubicon and they took all the carpeting out, took all the heavy stuff in, I think put on lightweight wheels, obviously ripped out the rear floor. Yeah. And last year, uh, it was out of commission. We'd normally get to drive these things. And unfortunately, this one was out of commission last year. I was really excited to get to drive it, but uh, yeah, I didn't get the chance. I think these are old snowboard jackets used as the seat inserts here. But anyway, yeah, the the past two years that I've been here, uh, Jeep has brought old concepts along just to play with in the dirt and because it's good PR, for sure. Can't think of a better PR strategy than this. And uh, yeah, so there you go, the 2018 four-speed concept. All right, this one wins. It is a Jeep Forward Control. Uh, the model on this is FC170. Uh, so these came out in 1956, I think. They were built on the uh, CJ5 platform, and they were designed... Check out the inside. Is it yours? Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, I, I poked my head in the window there. It's hot in summer. So I bet, there. yeah. Very cool. How long have you had it? Uh, about three years. Okay. I use it every day. Yeah? I use it on the farm. I haul hay. I yeah? go to town and get stuff. Yeah, so these were... Uh, Designed by Brooks Stevens, who went on to have a uh, pretty successful uh, design career. He also designed the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, and I think he also uh, went into furniture design as well. So that's kind of where this thing gets its iconic design from. Uh, so <clears throat> peak sales, I think, took place in 1957. I wrote an article on these a little while ago. And uh, yeah, peak sales took place in 1957. Uh, the base model... The original one was the FC-150, and uh, the one you're looking at there is an FC-170, which uh, had a higher gross vehicle weight rating and a higher payload, and I think a longer bed as well. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. He wins. He wins. It's the coolest Jeep we're going to see. All right, so I think we'll end it on that uh, forward control because that was very cool uh, but yeah there's a look at all of the cool Jeeps that you see around Moab during Easter Jeep Safari thank you for watching